Hi everyone, in today's video I'll show you an unboxing from Traveler's Company USA. They had a few little items in here that I hadn't picked up before, such as these craft envelopes. In particular, I liked this brown craft. I have some orange ones already, but I really liked the color of these and they're great for holding ephemera, um, especially in this size of Traveler's Notebook. So this particular package has um, eight of these in there and it has the string and the little eyelets and it's just perfect. Next, I picked up the sticker release paper. This one is in the passport size. Um, I have the original release from the B-Sides and Rarities in the uh, standard size from when they first released it. At that time, it was going to be a limited edition, but there was so much interest and so many people loved it that they finally made it part of their standard line. And I really um, love this version because the cover is completely plain. So it has that same sticker release paper in it, but we can decorate those covers however we like. Now the limited edition palette, I did buy this particular set that includes the mini brush because I wanted this particular um, palette of watercolors. I've never had the Van Gogh uh, Royal Talons uh, watercolors before, so it came with the Pentel water brush, which I already have one of these, so I'm going to leave that one packaged for now. And then this is the one that I chose. Since I missed the limited edition last year, I chose to go ahead and get the small one. This is the Explore Palette Plus. So there are 12 colors in this palette. And it's a really nice palette because it has the bright blue and the bright yellow. It also has the quinacridone rose. So you can make so many of those bright, vibrant florals but at the same time, they gave us the burnt sienna, um, the sap green, the Payne's gray. Plus, they give us instructions on how we can kind of mix these to get other tones of browns in particular. And that makes it so easy to use this particular palette for urban sketching or plain air sketching out on the go. So I really loved the color combination and just felt that it was going to be easier for me to go ahead and pick up these pre-filled palettes from them. I'm going to use this little spot just like April Wu recommends for the Thalo Blue since it is so um, staining and a little bit goes a long way with all of these colors. I've been experimenting with them a little bit. I'll show you a picture at the end of this video. But this is the size of it. It's no bigger than, just slightly bigger than a credit card. It's really a great size. They also released this special edition spiral notebook to match this um, watercolor palette. And what I didn't realize is how much thicker the paper was going to be. It's really great. If you use a lot of watercolor and you want to be able to lift and blend, this is probably going to be a great option for you. So the cover page is very thin, like the regular insert paper, but these pages in here are much thicker. So it's more of a mixed media type of paper and it will be able to hold water a lot better um, and so I'm saving this for our New York New York trip that's going to be this fall because in the back it has two pages of pockets so there's four pockets in the back where you can keep ephemera whether that be napkins from restaurants or stickers or metro cards or whatever else you happen to pick up where you're at. You can also fit this little travel palette back there, but um, I'm going to save that for ephemera when we make our trip later this year. So this is a really great um, travel and sketch cardboard cover. It's very sturdy and it has the beautiful little copper rings as well. So how I'm using um, this particular combo is 
If you'll notice this Traveler's Diner guest check, you'll see the little craft envelopes that I picked up are the exact same size. So right now that one is holding the stickers that came with this particular limited edition. So that's what I thought those other ones would be great for as well. And then I'm using the um, Stachy Key or the pencil board here. Um, I saw another idea that I loved from April. And what she does is she uses the small palette like this one along with the Traveler's Company clip and their pencil board. And when you just clip it on, it's like a wonderful little to-go palette. And underneath, in between the pencil board and my palette, I can slide my paper towel in order to wipe off my brushes as well. So I look forward to trying that out on the go. Um, here at the house, I don't have to use that setup as much, but I want to get braver and take this notebook with me out when I'm actually at the cafes and the restaurants. So that's why I went ahead and stuck that one in here as well. This is the zipper pouch in orange, and this is where I will be storing this fun little palette. So it fits perfectly in the card slot here. So I'm going to put this one in the middle card slot, and then the palette is really, I'm sorry, not the palette, but the little swatch card they give us, it fits in there perfectly as well. So why I want to save this is one, it reminds me what the brand is, um, what brand watercolors are in here, as well as the specific colors themselves. And they have a few suggestions that are written on the back of this card as to how to get um, beautifully blended colors, especially those multiple shades of brown and things like that. So this is my current setup of the one that I'm hoping to use the most at this point, which is the um, limited edition Traveler's Diner. I do believe that this particular one is sold out, but again, you can do this in any of the Traveler's Notebooks. Um, they have recently also released the Olive Edition, which used to only be limited, but you can get that one as a standard item as well. So these are some mixes that I've done and how I use that little mixing tray on the bottom right. This will be in my next video of how I'm using it um, to work inside of this journal. Well, if you like this video and you love Traveler's Company as much as I do, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.